Hey, hey, we're back for more drawing, and I hope you're all doing well out there, and thanks for joining me. Remember, this is a show for everybody of all ages, so you got kids in the room, sit them down to do some drawing with me, that'd be fun. Now, today we're going to draw something really fun, really, really fun. Um, it's uh, having to do with a topic that everybody loves, and so uh, I just thought we should just jump right into it. Meanwhile, um, just a quick story, you know, a lot of people are opening up businesses left and right, um, hoping that things are going to work out, you know, with the vaccine and everything. And of course, I've got my fingers crossed, as I'm sure you do as well. I want things to get back to normal. Um, yeah, but a friend of mine down the road just opened up a pizza place. And uh, I said, you know, what's it like having your own pizza place, you know, being a, a business owner of a pizza place? He said, uh, you know, I don't know. It's not much to say. I just need the dough. <laughs> All righty. Oh, gosh. Okay. I think we should do some drawing today. Oh, uh, let's say hi to some folks here in the chat. Hey there, Mercurial and Golden. Nice to see you. And Sam and Christine and Sherry and RB and Graphic Tech and, uh, oh, boy, all kinds of folks hanging out here. Hey, Sherry, what's up? Okay, folks, now we're going to get cracking. So remember to grab yourselves a pencil, a pen, a marker, or a crayon, or... Like I always say, you know, you grab a little pool cue, dip it in some chalk, you know, you always use those for sharpening the cues, and then take that pool cue with the chalk and just draw all over the wall and see what your parents think about that. Alrighty, now, as with every drawing, you have to be able to do three simple things for this show. A straight line, okay, a zigzag, or a curvilinear line. It could be an S curve, C curve, like that, right? Okay, and since we're doing the you draw portion of this, this is where you follow along with me step by step, and we're going to make a really fun drawing. All right, now this one's going to start out a little differently. We're going to start with the C curve, okay? And uh, it's going to actually turn into an S curve, but I want to keep things simple, all right? So check it out. I'm going to start with a backward C curve like that. Okie dokie. All right, now. I'm going to take this C curve and I'm going to pull it on this away and loop it around like an S. It's going to come down and then around. Check it out. It's going to come down and then around. See that? So it's like we made this nice long S sitting on its side. Okay. So check that out. Look at that shape carefully and copy that. Look at that shape carefully. All right. Might take a couple of tries, you know, if you got an eraser, go ahead. Uh, but this is what you're going for. It's long, with a long S on the side. Now, I'm going to pick it up from here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to here, okay? So watch this. I'm just going to pick it up here, and I'm going to connect to there. See how it's got a little curve to it right there? All right, so we've made essentially like a figure eight on its side, but it's long and skinny. It's like it's been stretched, stretched out. Okie dokie. Alrighty, now, moving on. The next step here is we are going to draw, give, the, give myself some space, some space between here and what I'm gonna do next, okay? I'm gonna draw a vertical line and it's gonna be about this long. All right, so here we go. I'm starting here, I'm giving myself some space. Give myself some space. Down we go. About like that. Okay, how long is that line? Well, good question. Let's imagine you take this nice long figure eight on its side and you rotate it vertically, so it's vertical. It's about the same, okay? and just draw that as a vertical line. That should help you to sort of figure out how long does this need to be. All right. Now, next, I'm just gonna draw a diagonal line like that. Okay, just one like that. Leave a little space and next to it, another diagonal line, slightly different angle, about that long. And then next to that, same length, same length, one, two, three. And finally, we're gonna do a fourth one, slightly different angle, slightly shorter. See that? Slightly different angle, slightly shorter. And then we're gonna pop back this way. 
So one and a two, little corner, little change there in direction. And then just head on down this away. How far? Halfway between the top of this very long line we drew and the bottom of that line. Alrighty. Next step, slightly diagonal line. I'm gonna start here and cut this off. Cut it off like that, slightly diagonal. Alrighty, and then down all the way the entire drawing. So remember this line right here? Well, do the same length and then just push it a little farther. Push it a little farther. All right, give myself some room here so we can continue. Next step, I want you to travel halfway up from here to here. So start about here, okay? Halfway from here to here. And we're gonna do another diagonal line, same angle as this more or less. All right, check it out. Right here, I'm gonna go like that. Okay, not quite as long as that line. And then just a little C curve, little C curve. Okay, and then back the other way. I'm gonna go down this way. Zoop. Okay. And then we're gonna carry down straight past the bottom of this line. We're gonna go further down. We're gonna go down to about there. Okay, how's that look? So far, so good. See that? It's a little farther down than that one. Okay. And now we are going to do this. Check it out. We're gonna make a little space between here and here. And in the center, I'm gonna draw a line right here, just like that. Mm-hmm. Ready for a C curve? We're gonna tuck a C curve right down here. It's gonna be like a U. Right? It's like we took the letter D, the capital letter D, and we just tilted it clockwise, 90 degrees. Now watch this. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna make a little bit of a very shallow C curve. Very shallow, shallow C curve. See that? It's got a little curve to it, but not much. Leaving some space between here and there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna color that in. And right here, I'm gonna do a little line and a little line. Tiny little lines, just like that. Hmm, how about that? I think we know what's going on here, don't we, gang? Okay, next step. I'm going to take this line here, make it a, just a hair longer. And I want you to look at the distance between here and here, okay? And then take that same distance from the top of the face here to this mouth. We're gonna go the same distance and travel down this way and then add just a hair. And we're gonna do a diagonal line down to about here. Now this is always a good time if you wanna add yourself a little dot, right? I make myself a little target to aim for. So I'll just go bam, just like that. And I'm gonna hit that target, okay? Okie dokie. And now back up this way. Not quite as steep an angle though, a little less, a little less so. Okay, now, Remember where we stopped this line? We're gonna bring this line down right to meet it. Same distance, same distance, just like that. And here, I'm gonna connect the end of this line to here and then connect this to that as well. Very nice. And from this corner, I'm gonna draw another diagonal line down this way, zip. Okay, a little steeper than that diagonal, right? And while I'm over in this area, I'm gonna just take that same line and duplicate it right there. Alrighty. Now we're gonna come under this letter D that we drew and this is a mouth. Now you can see I'm gonna draw a little curve. Boink, right there. That's a little chin for you. A little chin for you. Now check out this line here. I wanna pull it out, all right? I wanna pull it out to about here. Now. I'm gonna measure and say, I'm gonna pull it out about the same distance as from here to roughly there. Okay, that, that line right there feels good. So we're gonna go out like that. Whoops, sorry, I'm gonna get that angle about the right. Uh, that looks a little better. Okay, ta-da, that's what I'm looking for right there. Okay, now remember what we did over here. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on this side, except we're gonna move over a little, a little bit. We're gonna move over right to here. And we're gonna come down, zoop, like that, and then down. 
Okay. See that? We're trying to get about the same amount of space between here and there. Okay, I'll make this a little longer. It's feeling a little short right there for me right now. And then I'm going to angle it back up this way, okay? And it's going to be about this long. Now, this is one of those cases, again, where I can say, well, where can I compare it to? Well, here's the top of the nose, right? I suppose I could sort of line it up with that and say maybe this is a good spot, like that and then make those meet, okay? See my line's kind of wobbly there, no big whoop. Don't worry about your lines if they're perfectly straight or any of that nonsense, doesn't matter, not one bit. And then up we go like this, and we're gonna change up this hand, okay? This hand has some straight fingers, watch this. I'm gonna make a little space right here, and I'm gonna go like this. Zigzag, remember the zigzag, okay? Like that, see that? that a bit longer same over here and again and then a little shorter okay bring that down a little hair so I got room and then I'm gonna take this and overlap slightly and bring it back to here okay but check it out gonna come past where this is right we're gonna come past it like this because then we're gonna cut back a hair like that just a hair. Alrighty. And then I'm going to actually drop this down with a curve. Down with a curve. Okay. And then connect it to there. Alright, and then we can make those meet. Remember that little line we did here? Well, I'll do the same thing over here. Alright, we can't forget any ears. Yet. We got to do a shallow C curve, right? Now, where do we line that up? All right, check out where the mouth is here. And at the top of the mouth, that's where you line it up. Kablam. A little shallow C curve. Okay. And uh, now we got to add some details. There's a little line right there. A little line right there. Okay. And then a line straight across the bottom, just like that. Okay, and then you can make these line up. Now, remember, I like you to customize these drawings. This is your drawing. So what would be neat would be if you decide, well, what's going to be in your pizza? Because this guy is throwing that dough up, right, for the pizza. Uh, but we need some ingredients, right? So you could put some little ovals there maybe for some pepperoni, right? Or put some little leafy bits for some greens, right? Maybe some little pieces of mozzarella. They're just these little lines like this in all different directions. I don't know. Put on your pizza whatever you like. It's your pizza, right? I want to give this guy some hair, color his skin whatever color you like, color his shirt whatever color you like, okay? Give him a little background, put a little pizza oven in the background maybe. Uh, maybe put some people in the background with their mouths watering. They can't wait to eat that yummy pizza. Um, I don't know. There's so much you can do. What about some action lines? You can go woo like that. Shows that something is happening. Something is happening, right? We like that. We like it when something's happening. Alrighty. So, there you have it. That's the You Draw It portion of the show today. And uh, we are now going to move on to an art tip. Haven't done one of those in a while, so we'll slide this little fellow over here. And for today's art tip, I want to talk to you about measuring because you know we're always talking about measuring, right? And I thought, well, gosh, here's something cool you can do. Uh, let's say you're going to draw, you know, like uh, an elephant, okay? Roop. Get a little elephant here. Now, I'm no expert on elephants, but I'm just going to do my best. Got a little mouth there. Okay, a little tail. And you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this is going to be our our elephant friend here, okay. And I want to let's say this is that you've never drawn an elephant before, and you're like, oh gosh, how do I draw an elephant? Okay, well, here's what I want to talk to you about with measurement, with measuring things. And this is something you can use to draw anything, anything on Earth, which is put it in a box. Put it in a box, okay. 
So I'll just make a layer over this and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll make this elephant fit in a box. Okay, we're just gonna kind of squeeze him in there like that, up against the edges there. Okay, top of the box should actually be lower because we want it to actually touch top of the head. There you go. So there's our elephant. Now, whatever subject you're drawing, okay, you take a look at it and you say, all right, well, here's what I want to do. I want to make a box. I'm going to draw a box on my paper. It kind of looks about the right width and height for that thing that I'm trying to draw. Or just visualize this. And then imagine you're going to split it in half, okay, vertically and horizontally. And you look at it and you go, okay, now, now I can look at that elephant and I can imagine that it's sitting in a box. And I can imagine that, well, right here where the center is, okay, and right here where the center is vertically and horizontally, I can sort of get an idea of where to place certain things. I can already look at it and say, well, hey, look, if I take that left half and I split that in half again, look at how the head kind of, whoops, the head kind of fits in there right? The head fits in that space. I can go, okay, well, that's roughly the size of the elephant's head. And then halfway down here is where that trunk is going to go, okay? Now, in reality, of course, elephants have longer trunks than that, I'm pretty sure. But just for the sake of example here, you say, oh, yeah, so that's about where that trunk's going to go. And then the rest of that whole thing is the body, right? At the tail, though, is going to occupy some of that as it's sort of popping out the back there. And then you can say, well, I can see that the belly drops below the halfway point. Okay, maybe about like a third of the way between here and here, right? This is the, this is what artists do. This is how they measure stuff. Say, there's that belly. Cool. And now I know I just got to get those legs in there, right? And all of a sudden, you've simplified this process of understanding proportion. Right? What is the size of this? What's the size of that? Where are things in relation to one another? Okay, this is how you do it. And that is my art tip for today. And I think it's something that you'll be able to use for years to come. It'll help you draw things more accurately and you can't go wrong. Well, it is time for the animal and activity. Now, this is where you will suggest to me an animal doing something funny, strange, weird, bizarre, unexpected. And I will draw it for you. I will draw it for you because I'm just nice a guy something that surprises me. Let's see what we got. A bee playing chess. Well, that's interesting. Ooh, a bee playing chess. Mm. Peanut butter with a spoon. <laughs> a kiwi peeling a kiwi. When you say kiwi, I wonder if you mean, like, is the fruit peeling itself? Confused about that one. Uh, let's see. Jellyfish playing chess is kind of an interesting idea. We have drawn a jellyfish before, I think, but we could always do it again. Oh, a kiwi bird. Oh gosh, I don't know what those look like. I can't even imagine that in my in my mind. Um, but I could do another bird. Let's see, jellyfish working out needs protein. A sloth rowing a boat. Sloth's faces look like. Let's sort of picture that in my head. All right, Christine, well, give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. So let's see. Sloth rowing a boat. His long sloth arms. They have those big claws or something, or they have like one big claw or something like that, right? Put him in a boat. And uh, let's see. Oh, this is tricky. This is a tricky one. You're always challenging me, gang. 
I have to think like, what does that look like? All right, that's one paddle there and another one there. So I'll make that boat just a hair longer so I can not get too crowded there with my the hands, the sloth hands. That looks pretty slothy, I think. Put him in one of those um, tank tops that you see the the crews wearing, the rowing crews shorts. It's kind of funnier. So that is our paddle. There's another one over there. And we're going to cover this like that. Okay, got to go to the longer solution. This is a long drawing. Longer than usual. Usually we have less space we're occupying here. But let's knock that back as we do. Jump up to a darker color. Whoopsie. Let's jump up, jump up to a darker color. And then I'm going to do my best here in three minutes to make this come to life for you. call them three-toed sloths, don't they? This certain kind of sloth? Isn't that what they're called? It's one of those things where like, I just know if my kids were in here watching me do this, they'd probably know exactly what the details are of the animal. Because when you're that age, you know, you, you're so fascinated by animals, you remember all these details and you remember all these facts. And, they're always telling you, Dad, did you know? And then fill in the blank. Some interesting, weird fact about an animal or something. Fascinating. Go back this way. Throw a little ring right there. And then, oopsie. Come back that way. Zing, zing. And that goes this way. And then, whoop, whoop. Bam, bam. Into the water we go. And you get the idea. I'm going to run out of time here, but I'm going to try my best. Can I do it? It's such a challenge to get these done in such a limited amount of time. But there you go. Sloth rowing a boat. What do you think? How's that work out for you? Hope that works for you. Well, guys. I will see you next week for more Draw Along, Wednesday, Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for hanging out. Everybody take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and please be kind. And I'll see you then. So, ciao for now.